I don't know how many of you are experiencing power outages because of the uh, threat of fire and wind, but we're right in the midst of that. I live in the Santa Cruz Mountains, and you can hear my generator going in the background. Thankfully, I have a really good generator, but a lot of people up here don't. Let me switch this around a little bit. So it's about seven o'clock in the morning, and I don't know how well you can see that, but off in the distance there, there's a layer of smoke that's just hanging over the Santa Clara Valley. And that's not fog down there, that is smoke. You can barely see the lights. So the level of uh, toxic air has gone through the roof. So a lot of the trees that I have on my property, especially the giant fir trees, have a tendency to blow off their tips in heavy wind. I don't know if that's a self-preservation so that the branches don't get too heavy. It seems about right. But my yard is just littered with just tons of branches. And I had something happen the other day. Um, my power went out and so did my water. Well, I kicked on the generator and I went out and nothing happened. I didn't have any water whatsoever. So I looked to the tank and the tank was completely empty. I couldn't figure out what was going on so I started looking it over and what I found was a branch from one of these fir trees had fallen out of the sky and an area where I had some PVC to a sprinkler system and a faucet just so happened to be impacted by that branch and broke it. So when the power was going with my generator, the faucet pipe was wide open and it completely drained my tank which in turn caused my pump to run dry which in turn caused everything to go downhill quickly so I spent all day yesterday pulling out the pump pulling out the motor disconnecting all the pipes taking it to the shop and replacing everything I would like to come up here in a storm. Well, lightning would be a problem, but. Well, not a thunderstorm, a windstorm. So, from here, I'm about 40 feet off the ground, maybe 50. And we have about a 60 foot climb to the top of the tree. We have a 200 foot rope to where it's tied in and it just touches the ground. Sure. That's fantastic. <laughs> Look at the smoke. Wow. It's pretty though. <laughs> it's going to make a pretty sunset. <laughs> That's a good idea. I can... All right, this one's for you, Patrick. I'm way up high on the platform. I brought your headlamp. And we're going to stay up here till after dark. Seems pretty cool. I like it so far. It's a pretty good light. It really, it's a really wide beam, whereas most of them are kind of like a point. This one spreads out and really lights things up. This would be really good for rock climbing. Only problem is you got to recharge it on a USB. You can't replace the batteries. No. Yeah, that that wouldn't work on a rock climb. What's nice up here? Down. <laughs> <laughs> to JC. Yeah, it is pretty amazing how let me turn my light on. 
All right, totally dark out. Uh -huh. We got a hundred foot rappel to the ground. Got this flashlight, this headlamp. It's way from, better than the one I'm wearing. <laughs> it really is amazing. You got your light on? Yeah, <laughs> barely.